Welcome to our Tech Troubleshooting Series. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter while testing their Maven plugins. Our viewer is facing a no such element exception when trying to run the lookup mojo method using the Maven plugin testing harness. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So, let's continue on. The issue you're encountering is a no such element exception when testing your Maven plugin. This typically indicates that the lookup mojo method is unable to find the specified mojo. First, let's check the configuration in your POM file. Ensure that the group ID, artifact ID, and version match the values used in your test class. Next, verify that the goal name used in the lookup mojo method matches the name defined in your mojo class. In your case, it should be my plugin. Additionally, ensure that your test POM file is correctly set up and located at the specified path. The test POM should include the necessary configurations for your plugin. Finally, if the issue persists, consider updating the Maven plugin testing harness version in your POM file to the latest stable release, as this may resolve compatibility issues. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the no such element exception while testing a Maven plugin, the user created a Maven plugin project that successfully runs an integration test called Test Live with Palm. They suggest suppressing Surefire's default test execution and running it after the default install phase using Maven Invoker. The palm.xml configuration includes dependencies for Maven Plugin API, Junit, and Maven Invoker. The Surefire plugin is configured to run tests after the install phase. The Validate Mojo class implements the Validate goal, logging messages during execution. The Validate Mojo test class tests the plugin's functionality, ensuring the POM file exists and executing the Validate goal. The user notes that while the Maven Invoker plugin could also be used, it provides less detailed output compared to their custom implementation which logs more information during the test ex execution. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.